Hey Team Creator, welcome back guys. Today I am headed to do a gender reveal backdrop. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me. It is so hot today here in Georgia, guys. I don't know where you are and what your temperature is like, but it has definitely gotten very, very hot and we haven't even hit June yet. So as you can see in the background, I have all my stuff, um, my blue and pink balloons. She is doing a theme of what's the scoop. So this is going to be fun for me. I'm excited. I'm going to take you guys along. I will show you guys the area that I'm going to put the backdrop in before I get started. And then let you see a little bit of me setting up. And I will definitely reveal the final um, backdrop with you. So thanks for joining. Like and subscribe. Let's get going, guys, so I can get this set up for the mom to be. Okay, Team Creative, so this is the event hall. I just wanted to give you guys a brief look at it. Um, it's a long rectangular room. We had a clean slate to work with. So I went in and kind of mapped things out, asked the um, honoree where she wanted me to place things, and got right to setting up. You will see my hubby here and my son. They were both with me on this day. They were trying to get things knocked out so my hubby and I could enjoy our anniversary. We were working on our anniversary, so um, we came as a team to get this knocked out as quickly as possible. The colors, of course, were baby blue and pink because of it being a gender reveal. And the reveal theme was, what's the scoop? I actually ordered two backdrops for um, mom-to-be because the first backdrop was a 10 by 8, which was pretty big. Um, and it was on back order, so I was afraid it would not come in. So to prevent any delays or arriving without a backdrop, I wanted to have a second option on hand. So um, I did order a second one, but it came in. It was absolutely gorgeous. The colors were vivid. She loved it. I also made sure that everything was secure as far as going across the top. Um, securing things with two sixes is what you see me measuring my garland. And a tip, guys, when you're doing this, if you're by yourself, bring your backdrop stand down to your level, put your top garland across, and then elevate it back up and finish coming down, um, letting your side piece cascade. It just makes things so much easier if you are setting up alone and don't have the um, option of having someone go with you. She wanted a boy, but I will show you guys at the end what the baby to be uh arriving soon will be but this is just me doing the figure eight method connecting my blooms i did the color block method i wanted to do clusters of pink and blue uh, without mixing things up too much because the thing was what's the scoop so i didn't want things to look all jumbled and unorganized and she wanted me to also add some they were like paper machés or the spandex not spandex the expandable paper flowers um, onto it. So you'll see me adding those at the end. So I wanted to keep everything simple and clean so that you will be able to see um, as I added the additional decor. So I hope you guys enjoy. Watch the video. I will show you at the end what the baby to be is. Thank you for supporting me guys. I have reached 1000 subscribers. You have been great. Join the creative team. I love you guys and finish watching and I'll see you in the next video. Did you ever stop and think why spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest, I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me. Let me be real here. When I see you, my heart starts racing, but I don't know if I like this chasing and playing and waiting around. It's a shame that my hands start shaking All of the time when you're around me But this time, this time Girl, I know what's bothering me I need somebody to love Oh, nah, 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 nah Don't you see what's wrong with me? I need somebody to love Oh, oh, nah, nah, I don't know what I could say to convince you 
Let me. 